work. And that does not work. But then see like that one gets caught up really fast. Okay. 100 percent the best. This shows you steam pressure. This is how the train wheels would work. You got to get it started first. There you go. Now you got it. Alternating pistons. Yeah, because this one is so much smaller. Yeah, that's true. Whether it was the big boy or the small, they were on the same size of track. Welcome aboard the caboose. That's where the driver used to sit. This was like a train car on a tram, a tram in the city. Uh, look at the engine is bigger than him. Oh. So we are so in the corn person, husk curve. Why are there so many chairs? Because he had lots of press and everybody with him. Hold on, hold on, hold this on, is count. President Truman's. Cornhusker car, uh, the car, Cornhusker car for during his whistle stop tour for his second election. Ah, 1920s, and they had these things. Look, it's the Cuba. That's a really good small anchor. The Lewis and Clark expedition. So this would have been, this is how the Omaha Indian tribe would live in their lodge. They look good. It reminds me a lot of the Mandan. They does it, good. Does it remind you of the Mandan lodge as well? Yes. Oh, cool. Buffalo water. I love that. Oh. Fire. Don't touch the buffalo, but you can touch this hide. It's the same thing, so you don't damage the buffalo. How does it feel? Oh look, is it a buffalo or a bison? It's so thick, so imagine like throwing this over your shoulders and then having that as like a blanket or something. Like, mm -hmm. That's thick. It's like the dinos. The face that was I learned about the dinos was the good way. Tyrannosaurus. 
I'm in the Goon Lake, one of the first Tyrannosaurs. <laughs> had a. I learned that the Goonling has a <clears throat> decorative frill, which isn't common for most predatory creatures. It was probably used to bring more Goonling together, but it still needs more info to figure out the real thing. The real thing. Um, what I learned was that T-Rexes actually have, most of their teeth actually have, um, their teeth have barbs, like little hooks on the inside of their teeth. So whenever they like chomp down on prey, their teeth curve inwards, and there's barbs right here. So whenever prey, the meat goes down in them, it's not harder to get it out. And if it does get out, it rips it. I learned that the Dialong was one of the smallest Tyrannosaurs. Only about the size of a chicken. Bop, bop, bop. Basically a weaponized chicken with claws. What I learned was that people do not know what color dinosaurs are, and most dinosaurs actually have feathers. Like, you don't have a clue what colors they are. Like, they kept them presenting red on that dinosaur. We don't know if he's gold. We don't know if he's black. A few of them, they found some pigment stuff. Yeah. Okay. The way, I learned that the way most, that they found out most dinosaurs and some dinosaurs had feathers was because they had the sockets for the quills. Mm -hmm. That was my also. Oh. That was my also. <laughs> The biggest dinosaur there was Scotty. He was a huge T-Rex. He was presented as a red T-Rex. I just call him big red colors. Okay, that was three things you learned or found cool. My question is, oh, I forgot again. Okay, my question is, my, my question is, is that, why do you actually, why do they have those little stubby hands? Why don't they have these big long hands so they can actually pick up food? And eat. What is the use of those little stubby hands? What, are they just gonna go? Actually, the research, actually some research shows that they were actually quite muscular. Mm, but not what like did they use them for? Not like it's gonna be doing push-ups, but maybe pinning down large prey. Or maybe they would maybe be like a boxes. Maybe it was like pin down large prey with them. Wouldn't hold it to eat because that's not something it would do. The dialogue could be worship is doing that with its rather long Ooh, arm. I, Mom, let me. I know what it might do. It might it might grab some prey that it killed, grab a chunk of meat, and then it would save it for later. And then whenever it's hungry again, it would drop it down and eat. That's not as likely. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. Who knows? It, okay, let's say uh, there was a big pack. Um, okay, so a T-Rex, T-Rex was here, and there was a big pack of, okay, one, one big triceratops that it killed, so it, no, no, it killed a baby triceratops, and then it took it with its little hands, and then it killed a big one, and then ate the big one, and then ate the small one. Okay, so your question? question. So there was a machine in there that, depending on how hard you jump, you would make a meteor that would either burn up in the atmosphere or make the dinosaurs extinct, or anything in between. Why? Me being somewhere around 130 pounds? 100 pounds. It burned up in the atmosphere. Ah, uh, you're such a little thing. I'm so skinny. Why? No One last view of the incredible... Art Deco building.